Okay, right, back again. Uh, now, uh, I'm now going to attempt to uh, video uh, the display as it um, as I set it up. Um, I, I can see it on the on the camera uh, LCD. I'm not quite sure how well it's going to turn out in in, in reality. Uh, well, so bear with me if it's a little bit rubbish. Um, I've tried it with my phone, and it, it um, the phone doesn't seem to be able to sort of lock focus very well. So we'll, we'll give it a shot and see how it works. So you can see at the moment we've got a bunch of dashes at the top. One, the, uh, there's a set of dashes to the left which represent where the call sign will be. Uh, mine would be G7IYK, and then the locator, maidenhead locator, in the centre, and then the two on the right are the at the top of the screen will be the power. Um, then we've got a, a little bunch of dashes uh, kind of here pencil would be better here which uh, represent the, uh, the the transmit frequency um, from the bottom of the whisper band it's 200 Hertz wide mine so 100 Hertz is effectively the center of the center of the band and then there's the time ticking away at the bottom which is being sourced from the GPS module Okay, so I've, I've, it's connected to the PC. So the situation is it's connected to the PC. The, P, the, the laptop, which is out of shot, is running uh, my whisper control panel, which has been set up with my call sign, locator, power level. I've, I've set it up for uh, um, 100 hertz, which is center of the band. Um, it's not in any um, got band scan mode, so it'll just be transmitting a, a fixed uh, frequency in the center of the whisper band. Uh, I've ticked the 20 and 40 meter um, options because I've got a 20 and a 40 meter fi uh, uh, filter fitted. Uh, it's reporting that the GPS is locked, which it is, um, and I've set up the uh, 20 meter filter to sit in slot uh, one and the 40 meter low pass filter to sit in slot two. So if I press the send button. All good. So the software has all gone green. Uh, so it, it sent all the appropriate information to the hardware. Uh, the hardware echoed it all back, um, and it all it all correlated. So uh, the software is, is 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 happy, and we can now. Well, I'm hoping you can see. Um, it might be a little bit of a strain, um, but. Um, We've now we've now got a screen which is populated. So my call sign up here, G7IOK. Uh, my maidenhead locator, IO81. I, yep, uh, 30 dBm, which is approximately what I'm getting out of the PA after filtering. 100 hertz from the bottom of the band, which is um, and we've got a 20 meter and a 40 meter symbol um, indicating that um, those are the bands we've selected. Those are the bands that are, are in play. If you like, um, over here, we'll, well, it'll show you in a minute. But over here, we'll, it, in between the hundred hertz and the time, it will actually display the uh, current band, current active band. If you were to be running um, in a in a in a what well, in any any of the modes, whichever band is currently being transmitted. So um, okay, so what I can do now is I'm going to hit the uh, I've got the the PA or the output of the filtering and the PA into a, into a little dummy load so I'm not I'm not going to radiate so if I hit the transmit button on the software okay so the LED here has come on indicating that the 20 meter filter is 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 in circuit now uh, there might be a, a small weight now um, it's typical in it it's always um it's always the maximum you can possibly have to weight um, no matter what you do um, so at the moment we're at um, the Tick is the time saying 10 59 a.m. and 17 18 19 20 seconds. So when it gets to the top of the minute, that will be a, an even minute and, and it will start transmitting. So, um, actually, you couldn't actually see the LED come on because it was out of shot, but the, the LED for the um, 20 meter filter has come on. You'll see in a minute when I, when I zoom out. So, uh, bear with me. Actually, the display doesn't look too bad. At least it's in focus. Um, okay, so 51, 52, 53. Right, it's now transmitting. So, um, obviously, it's um, slightly out of shot at the moment, but the uh, red LED on the power amplifier has come on. Uh, I'll explain the other fields that are happening here on the display now. Uh, the top field, so the 20 meters has come on. 
indicating that we are in fact transmitting on 20 meters. The, here, this is the uh, current whisper symbol. Um, there are 162 symbols uh, in, in a whisper transmission, which lasts approximately 110 seconds. Uh, and that's the current symbol being transmitted. So you can see that's running and each symbol is about 0.683 seconds long, 638 milliseconds long. Um, so you can see that that's ticking slightly faster than the one second tick um, from the clock. Uh, and just for a bit of fun, although it really doesn't contain an awful lot of information, just kind of just kind of ni nice to look at. Um, these hashes, so we've got four, whisper, the whisper protocol is, is, is uh, in the text uh, explained, is made up of uh, uh, four level uh, frequency shift keying PSK so um, you're tra at any one time you're transmitting one of four one of four frequencies so um, this uh, little double hash which is moving up and down in a, a seemingly uh, random way is the current symbol which is being transmitted so the lower FSK and then a next FSK symbol third FSK and the fourth F FSK symbol so that moves um, in sympathy with the with the with the symbol count. So uh, yeah, so that is now currently transmitting my um, my call sign uh, locator and power level. Uh, and if we were to connect it to my uh, antenna in the garden out there, um, it would yeah, the, the it would it would it would you know the, it would light up. Um, Okay, so I was just looking at the software. Um, so, th so what, it, what it's done now is because we've got two bands selected, it's automatically switched to 40 meters. Um, sorry for that pause. I was just looking at the software. So we we've got 20 because we've got 20 and 40 meters selected. It, what it's done is it's done a, it's done a transmission on uh, 20 meters, and now it's automatically switched to, to 40 meters. Um, and although it's out of shot, the uh, LED for the the second uh, uh, filter has come on. So actually what I could do is um, attempt to uh, z zoom out. Ooh, wrong way. So I've zoomed out. Let me just move the board up a little bit. There we go. Sorry, it's a bit amateur, but whatever. Um, so, right, it's transmitting. So uh, here's the uh, PA transmit light is on. Uh, here the um, 40 meter filter light. LED has come on. So we'll just let it switch back to 20 meters and I think that will be uh, probably quite enough for most people. Um, I just wanted to zoom into the actual display because it was difficult to see um, when zoomed out or at least I think it's difficult to see when zoomed out. Um, so we're reaching 130, 132, 135 symbols of the sequence. 140. So when it gets to the end of the sequence it will swap back to 20 meters and it will the, the hardware will automatically select the second filter or the first filter in the sequence there now it's 110 seconds reaching the top of the minute now the um, PA PA transmit lights come back on and we're now transmitting uh, another sequence on uh, 20 meters so if we were to operate in a band scan mode, um, i.e. the uh, step frequency entry on the software was non-zero, what the, what would happen is that you would see the um, the it's currently fixed at 100 hertz here, but this the, the, this frequency would be increasing as it stepped up the band. So say we started at zero and we had a 10 hertz offset, it would be going 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, all the way up the band on 20 meters till it got to the top. Uh, and then it would then switch to 40 meters, start at the bottom of the band, and then go up the, the 40 meter band in 10 hertz steps to the top, and then back to 20 meters again, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, well, um, I think that pretty much just cover, covers the hardware and, and general look of it. Um, you say if anybody's got any questions or suggestions, please uh, fire away. Anyway, um, thanks a lot for watching. Cheers.